Hi Glammies and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a face of the day using the Creative Me palette from Coastal Scents. Um, I use this look or I had this look in my video for Mac, uh, my Mac favorites or Mac must-haves. Um, and so I promise you guys that I would let you know what I use and give you a review of the products that I use in my next video. So um, really, really quick, I'm just going to tell you that I'm super sorry because I did have a tutorial of this look and how I created it, but it was uh, deleted by my son. So, yeah, gotta love him. Um, but anyway, I still wanted to make the video. I still wanted to give you guys a review of the palette. I still wanted to show you the colors that I used to create this um, look. And uh, I felt like I, it would be a good face of the day. And if you guys like this look, let me know and I will definitely retape a tutorial for you. All right, so first of all, this is the Creative Me Coastal Scents palette and the, those are all the colors very very pretty bright I think it's perfect for summer springtime all that good stuff um the colors that I used to create this was where is it this yellow right here is in the inner corner I mixed these two oranges for my middle color and then on the outer corner is this pinky color looks, looks purple on camera but it's a nice hot pink um, and then I use this darker purple right here that's coming up blue, but it's really purple. And I use that on the outer V just to darken it up. And then I went back to that pink color and just kind of use it as my contrast color to blend it, um, like my bridge color. Um, I really like this. It's, it's a fun look. I'm actually on my way out to a girls night out. So I figured this look would be super appropriate, fun, girly, um, and like spring and summertime. So that's the colors that I used to create this. Um, I, everything else on my eyes I used, uh, eyeshadow wise came from this palette. Um, I did use Painterly Paint Pot as my primer. I definitely, definitely suggest you use a primer. Um, and you could even just use like a primer and then use Milk NYX um, white primer just to give you a nice base to make it the colors pop. I did have issues making the colors pop. Like I, it took a lot of time to really get a good color payoff with these. I mean, I know it's only 16 bucks, but um, I kind of wasn't expecting to have to work that hard to get the colors that I wanted. So that was kind of... Um, a thumbs down in that area but the colors are really nice and if you're just starting off and um you don't you know want to invest the money like mac money for eyeshadows i think this is a really good alternative um i probably would give it a b you know the colors are gorgeous and once you do pack on the color and get it to where you want the intensity the colors do come off nice um but it's not like a one or two swipe deal you got to really pack those colors on um, to get a good color payoff. So, um, and then for my lashes, I'm using Ardell Demi 102. And I'm loving these. Let me get a close up so you guys can see. They're spiky and fun. I just love it. And I've been doing this thing where I, I'm not like smoking out the under eyes with black liner like in my waterline. I've been doing is just switching up different colored liners um, like to go underneath my lash line. And I know you could do white in your um, inner rim or you could do um, like an eye brightener, a uh, nude color to, be, to make your eyes look bright. But I've been finding that just using your favorite um, pencil or your favorite shadow just underneath the lash line leaves your eyes open and bright and so, so pretty. So that's kind of been what I've been doing. And along with my highlighting, it just makes my eyes look so bright and makes my makeup look more fresh and uh, summery. So that's a little tip that I've been doing. Someone did tell me, I believe it was in my last video, they were like, oh my goodness, your eyes just look so bright, you know, and it, it's just, what are you using on your, on your under eyes and your waterline? And I haven't been using anything, so... Um, you can do white in your waterline. You can do a nude color. That would help too. But for me, it just seems to work really good. Just my favorite shadow going underneath there. My favorite liner going underneath the, um, not waterline, my eyelashes. So, all right, guys. So that is 
the end. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, this is the Coastal Sense Creative Me palette number one. Um, and it retails for, I believe, $16.50, but they have sales going on every week, it seems like. So um, I believe it's between $16 to $20. Um, but it's at coastalsense.com. And if you have this, let me know how you're liking it. Or if you plan on getting it, um, when you get it, let me know how you like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And as always, stay glam. Bye.